So, Jehovah's Witnesses uh, false prophecy, and it proves the Jehovah's Witness religion is wrong. Really? Catholic truth? Catholic truth, an interesting uh, group, uh, interesting person running your little channel. Interesting. So let's deal with the questions, shall we? Uh, I don't really think you're an official uh, YouTube channel for the Catholic Church. I don't think they lower themselves to that kind of level of who's doing YouTubes like this. Just like this YouTube channel is just me. I don't represent the Catholic Church or Jehovah's Witnesses. It's just me. And it, it's not nice, people making allegations against Jehovah's Witnesses to get lots of viewings and make money on YouTube with your adverts. So, the prophecy that proves Jehovah's Witnesses are wrong. We've been saying that Jesus already came. Yes, he did. He came invisibly. 1914, invisibly. Every single Christian religion believes Jesus is, gonna, is either here invisibly or he's coming invisibly. And then within a few years, he brings what the Bible teaches as Armageddon. That's his second coming, where he's riding a white horse and he's got angels and he, there's a war on earth. But of course, all the Christian religions, including the well, I'm not sure about the Catholic Church because they're a little bit quiet about it. But they, they all teach that when Jesus comes, the earth is burnt up and destroyed. But the Bible doesn't teach that. It says when he comes, he comes to save planet Earth and its ecosystem, not just people. And of course, there's lots of Protestants out there who say, I'm saved already. I, my, I'm saved, you know, um, or we're off to heaven. Well, you can go where you like, but it, the one who's in charge is Jesus Christ, you see, because his father has given him the kingship. He is the anointed king and he is ruling in the midst of his enemies. In Psalm 110, it says that he becomes king and is ruling in the midst of his enemies. That means the kingdom of God has come, but his enemies are still there on planet Earth. And that's why we teach that he's come in 1914 and he's ruling, but he hasn't taken over control. It's a government in waiting. He takes over control at Armageddon, which is when the planet is restored to how it was when humans, before humans, started ruining the planet. So, so and Jehovah's Witnesses are the only religion in the world, the only Christian religion in the world, who believe that when Jesus returns, he's going to save the planet. Not just Christians, or anyone else, humans, he's going to save the planet because the planet is God's property. Psalm 104 says the earth will stand forever. It will, and Isaiah 45 verse 18 says the earth and Isaiah 40 verse 22 says the earth will always have people in it. It's not going to be burnt up. Of course, talking about burning up, Catholic truth. The one teaching that proves the Catholic truth, the, the Catholic faith is not Christian and not following Jesus Christ, I can say it in one word. Hellfire. And how can you have a God who you love who has a fire? And Jehovah's Witnesses are criticised about the name because we've taken on God's holy name, the God of the Jews. You can call him Yahweh, and the Catholic Church does call him Yahweh 6,000 times in their Jerusalem version of the Bible. Yahweh, or the English term Jehovah, that is the name of the God of the Jews, and that's the God that Jesus said to pray to. He said, our Father. He, he didn't say, and he didn't say pray to me, Jesus Christ. He said, I'm your master. He said, pray to my Father, our Father. So that's who we pray to. And we pray to Jehovah and we exalt his name because it's important to him. If you check the Jewish Ten Commandments, his, the first commandment is make holy his name. And what are the first words that Jesus utters in the Our Father prayer? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
make holy God's name. So that's why we call ourselves Jehovah's Witnesses. The only religion in the world that identifies itself worldwide in its preaching work as witnesses of the creator of the universe. And our leader, there is only one leader, and that's the one Almighty God has assigned. And it's not the Pope or any archbishop in Christendom that the Protestants teach or the King, uh, King Charles. The only leader and King that Jehovah's Witnesses follow is Jesus Christ, because he's the only leader. None of the apostles claim to be leaders, including Peter, and most certainly the Jehovah's Witness governing body are just brothers, um, and they're certainly not leaders. They're just a slave doing its job. So, thank you very much, Catholic Truth, and uh, all those other lovely ones, lovely people who make videos against Jehovah's Witnesses trying to criticise us. Blatant slander, but our governing body and the Watchtower Society won't even dirty its hands. Only people like me will defend my faith because it's only allegations made on the YouTube channel. So there you have it. Have a nice day, Catholic friends. Uh, uh, there are an awful lot of former Catholics who are now happily serving as Jehovah's Witnesses across the world. One of the biggest convert group that Jehovah's Witnesses have. So we'd like to thank you. <laughs> Take care, everybody. <laughs>